Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I thought we'd talk about rain guards and why they're so important. I've got them installed on my car and I had them from the get-go because I did a little research and figured, hey, I need those things. So let's just check them out on my car and then we'll talk about why they're so important. All right, let's check them out. All right, these are the rain guards installed on my van, the 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. They come down about three inches and allow for your window to be rolled down without anyone detecting that your window is rolled down, okay? And I've got them up here as well, and they're from WeatherTech, as you can see there. My husband installed them, super simple, and uh, a must-have. All right, let's head back into the van. I'm freezing out here. All right, why are these rain guards so important? Well, number one, because we're humans, and humans exhale moisture. And if you're in a small space, and that moisture has nowhere to go, it's gonna stay in the space. Hence, condensation on our windows. And we don't want that as van campers. Number one, if you're a stealth camper, that's a dead giveaway. So we wanna avoid that at all costs. But overall, you don't want a moist van where there's no circulation. So rain guards are the key. What they do, like we talked about, like you saw outside the van there, they allow your windows to be rolled down. No one knows they're rolled down from the outside. While you're stealth camping in the city, that is of utmost importance because you don't want anybody to know you're in your van. At least I don't. And when we're in a campground, it doesn't matter. You still need to vent your van. So, rain guards. Number two, if you're cooking, if you're cooking in your van, moisture from one of these propane heaters or um, this little MSR stove here. This little MSR stove is what I use to cook on when I don't bring my kitchen, okay? So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to stoke this baby up, and we've got a flame. Well, condensation's coming. It's just, it's just a fact, Jack. It's coming. So you want to make sure you vent your vans, not only for the condensation, not only for the moisture that happens when you burn these little propane tanks, but because it's safe. You need rain guards to keep you safe. You've got to vent your vehicle, allow for circulation to to roam around your vehicle so you're not inhaling these cruddy fume things. Yeah, you have to stay healthy. So rolling your windows down, cracking them to two to three inches on both sides. Uh, as you saw, I have them on the front and passenger and my middle sliding doors here. Depending on what I'm doing in the van, I might put them all four down. Maybe I'll just put the front two down. Maybe I'll just put the middle two down. It doesn't matter. I roll them down a little bit, but no one on the outside knows they're rolled down. But the beautiful thing is, is I'm getting fresh air. I'm getting air circulation and my van is just circulating with fresh air, which is a necessity, especially if you're burning like a big, well, this isn't really big, a little Mr. Buddy heater guy here. He needs fresh air. He needs fresh air. This needs fresh air. These little canisters, you can't, if you don't have enough oxygen and proper oxygen for anything to burn, it's going to snuff out, right? Another reason why it's very important to have rain guards is if you have a refrigerator. If you're running a refrigerator that has a compressor, it's running on and off, on and off, that unit is going to need proper airflow in this van for your refrigerator to run right. I don't know if you know that or not. Do your research on that. Say, for instance, you're out and about hiking, doing whatever it is you do outside. I happen to rock hunt and do hiking uh, on the on the Great Lakes. I'm gone for two or three hours at a time outside. I am never leaving my van windows rolled up doesn't matter. They're all of them. If it's a really hot day are all going to be cracked because it's important that that refrigerator that's hooked up to one of my power sources is getting proper circulation in this van so it can run properly. So that's another reason. Okay. So when we breathe, we're exhaling moisture. It builds up on our windows. When does that happen? Mostly in the nighttime. Why? Because our vans aren't opening. We're not exiting and entering our van, doing things all day, whatever it is we do. Uh, and, and there's no fresh air getting in the van. So when you sleep, you need to make sure your windows are cracked, okay? Allow for that moisture to escape. Now, another thing that's a must have, if you're a van dweller, in my personal opinion, is a little fan. This is a little USB fan here. It's got three speeds. I put this on low at nighttime, even in the winter, even when I camp in cold weather, I don't obviously point it on myself. I'll point it away from me, but it allows for air to circulate in my van and out the windows. So when I go to bed, this is how this is what it looks like. When I go to bed, I have all my window covers on, okay? If I'm making a video for you, my windows are cracked, but I have my window covers really tucked in tight to the windows so no one outside can see me, especially 
Well, mostly only I do that when I am uh, stealth camping. When I'm in a campground making videos, I don't have to worry about that so much. I can uh, peel them back a little bit. doesn't matter because I'm in a campground. We're all supposed to be there. But if I'm stealth camping in a place, I, I don't want people to detect uh, that I'm in my van. I, I'm making sure everything is sealed properly. Even though my windows are open from the outside, no one can tell because I've got these, these rain guards here, right? However, when I go to bed, I turn all the lights out. I peel the corners back of the windows of my where my rain guards are, and I allow for ventilation to come in. And yes, it's cold out. Yes, it's cold out, but you, you make sure you have the proper sleeping stuff so you're not going to freeze, right? You double sleeping bag yourself. Uh, I just made a video about a tent. Build yourself a tent in your van over your bed. Check that out. That's on my playlist. Uh, another way to keep warm or stay warm in your van or vehicle. I don't know how I titled it, but anyways, check out my playlist of van camping in Michigan. A ton of tips in there. But uh, build yourself a tent. Do whatever it is you do to keep you warm. But you still, at nighttime, even in the winter, have to have your windows cracked. Or you're going to wake up with frost on your windows. It's just the way it's going to be. Now, uh, I just got back from a trip from Petoskey recently. And it was 30 outside, 38 in my van. I had both of these windows cracked here. But guess what? Hardly any condensation on the, these windows here. But I had some on my windshield. It's kind of the nature of the beast in small environments. But we have to do the best we can with what we have to circulate our small environment. So that's going to include rain guards. I got mine at WeatherTech, custom-made 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan, but they make them for all cars. Rain guards, window covers to make sure you can keep your windows covered so nobody obviously knows you're in here. A fan, okay, important, circulating the air around you, making sure it can escape at night. You'll still have to keep your windows open. You'll pull away your window covers a little bit in the corners to allow for the air to, to uh, escape out of your van. And uh, that's going to help immensely. That is going to help immensely. Now, another thing I want to talk about while we're talking about using heat sources and things like that in the van, you know, because I mentioned if you're using uh, a little Mr. Buddy here, you're going to have to have your windows cracked. You're going to need rain guards so nobody knows. With that, I want to put be safe. Have a CO2 detector, okay? I got one right here. Doesn't take any juice unless it goes off. You just plug it in one of your uh, battery powered thingies, whatever you have, and uh, you're safe. Also have, have some fire extinguisher spray in your car, just in case, just in case. You know, if you're cooking with your little MSR stove, you know, I don't cook in my van, I boil water. I'm real fussy about that. This is my family van. Um, I don't want to get it all full of smells and things like that, and, and I don't really have to. In the summertime, I cook off the back of my van. I have a, a camping kitchen I use, but when I just go for like quick rock hunting trips, I don't do that. I'm not staying at a campground. Sometimes I'm sleeping in the city, so I really can't use the kitchen. So I'm just boiling water in my vehicle to make soups, to make coffee, to make tea, that sort of a thing. And I, I have a refrigerator, and I eat things that come out of my refrigerator. I just don't have a habit of cooking in my van and that's just a personal choice for me I don't have a problem if anybody wants to do that that's just not what I do I just basically boil water but let's talk about that boiling water what's it doing it's putting moisture in your vehicle so you have to have your windows cracked it's just important so rain guards are a must for uh three different reasons because you breathe moisture it needs to vent your van you're heating your van and that these little propane things, after you burn them, there's moisture in your vehicle. It just will happen pretty much immediately. You have to vent your vehicle. And the other thing is if you're cooking in your vehicle, moisture, not only from the water or whatever it is you're boiling or cooking, from the propane tank, moisture. It's going to build up on your windows. So that is that. I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. I would love that. Like, share, uh, hit the bell. Everything I learned, I like to share with you, and in turn, you can share with your friends. So that is all. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, because I am. Okay, have a good one. I will catch you later. Until next time.